All right, YouTubers. I want to show you how I made this flag here the best I can. Here I'm resawing rough cut lumber on my grizzly saw. Here's everything after it's been cleaned up on the bandsaw and the planer. Here I've glued up two panels based on what will fit through my planer. I've got a, uh, a DeWalt planer. I believe 13 inches is what fits through there. So here I'm showing you uh, one of the panels coming through. This planer has been really good to me. I've been beating it up for about six years or so. Here I'm putting the two panels together. This flag is going to an individual who uh, was in the army who got out as a staff sergeant. And they asked me to make the flag. They wanted me to incorporate army into it somehow. So I chose to make this wooden patch that I plan to inlay into the flag. I was going to use a scroll saw and I'm glad I uh, put it on the band saw. It worked out pretty good. So here I've pulled apart the the two pieces, dark and light, that I had on top of each other and reorganized the pieces to make the patch. Here I'm gluing them back together with CA glue. And there are tiny gaps from the saw curve, but just a little sanding brings everything back together. Here you'll see the gap. There you go, right there. So just remove as much material as needed until everything comes back together. Here I've got my patch made. Sticking uh, some two-sided tape on there so I can attach it to the board temporarily while I trace it. I use a square, make sure it's perpendicular nice and straight to the bottom edge. I trace it with a knife. And then I'm trying to take as much material away as I can with the router as close to the line as possible. So I've gone around that top edge and ch chiseled it. And once I got a nice edge, I'm using a uh, flush trim router bit here. It's got a bearing on the top edge to ride the edge that I chiseled out. Did come through here with uh, some sandpaper. Kind of uh, Sanded that out as flat as I could. And here I'm pointing at the bottom edge there. I did have to go through with a chisel and uh, chisel out to make the corners there a little sharper. And at that point there I had to take a knife to it because my chisels wouldn't get in, the, in that tight of an angle. So far so good though. Here I've got my flag turned upside down, chiseling from the bottom side so I don't have any tear out. And after I got this hole situated, 
went ahead and glued the patch in. Here I've got it uh, glued in. This is the next day. And I'm grinding my uh, waves in. I took a pencil and outlined some waves. I used the pencil mark as the uh, peaks and ground out in between as the valleys. I'm using a cuts all wheel and my DeWalt uh, angle grinder there. This is the first opportunity to see the relief from the waves. From here on out, it's just a bunch of sanding. Here I'm talking about how I want to sand everything down smooth enough that uh, just to get it looking very free flowing. So I think right here I've got a uh, 80 grit sandpaper. Here half the flag is done. I went uh, 80 grit with the DA sander. Uh, I've got a uh, restore tool, Craftsman restore tool that I used to take down um, a lot of the heavy sanding. Then I got back in there with the DA. The DA sander went, uh, he went from 80 grit to 180, and then 220 was the finest grit that I used. Here I'm just pointing out some of the grain. Here everything's really looking a lot smoother. I'd say in total I probably put in about three hours worth of sanding. There's the restore tool there up in the corner. So the light helps a lot. If you see anything that doesn't look like a, a natural wave, I guess. Really shows a lot of the any scratches that I may have missed. And I look at it from every angle I can. She found a few more scratches in it. And here I am taking those last ones, last ones out. So this flag started at about uh, just under an inch. And I would say the deepest valley, maybe halfway through. So there's quite a bit of wood left. Here I've started laying down poly to get ready for paint. This is about two coats. And then I've got a brand new vinyl cutter that I just purchased. So this is the first project that I'm using it for. Cutting these stars out on the vinyl cutter, using it as a stencil, uh, saved me about three hours worth of using the razor blade. What I don't show you here is I built up about six or seven layers of poly after that. Here's a basic frame. 
bottom uh, bottom part of the frame there has got a slot to hold challenge coins. And these last couple slides are my flag here finished up.